Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. As you can see today, I am going to be decorating my lovely little Christmas tree. Now this is one, I've had it for a good like 10 years or something so it's a wee bit bent, it's not the best, it's a bit bare so the way I've got it facing, this should be the side that looks the nicest because as you can see there's like a big gap there. But I'm still, I love this tree so much. And now I have some tinsel to pop on it. I've got quite a few wee decorations, some baubles, some lights and again a lot of these are quite old but I have some new things to put on them today and decorating the Christmas tree is one of my favourite Christmas activities to do and now it's not all Disney themed, I've only got a few wee Disney things but I just thought it would be quite a fun video to film anyway. Now the first thing I'm going to do is if you watch my Christmas mystery parts box opening you will see that I got some yummy hot chocolate so I'm going to go make that now and make this an extra festive video. as it's a very small cup that I have but oh my god hot chocolate is just so yummy and now to get to the fun part which is the decorating so the first thing I always like to put on is your Christmas tinsel and then I just have some small rolls and it's silver and sparkly and I'll just wrap I usually just put one around the top and then one around the bottom just to cover the wee stands Now I'm just going to pop some tinsel around the bottom just to cover up these wee bits here. And there we go, now it's not as, you can still kind of see that one but I'll just stick it like that. And now I'm going to show you some of the crazy bubbles that I have. So the first one is, it's a little Santa on an inflatable dinghy unicorn and he's very sparkly. Now. I can't remember where I got some of these things, a lot of it is online, just on random websites but I just thought that was the funniest thing I have ever seen so I'll pop him on. Gonna have him sort of to the side here, he's kind of just sitting on that branch. I also have this lovely big Mickey Mouse disco ball themed one and now a lot of these ornaments are stuff that I probably wouldn't recommend putting on a tree the size of mine, maybe putting on just a normal big tree but this one is really nice so I love it. As you can see it's actually a wee bit heavy. So the next ones I'm going to pop on are these brand new ones I got this year from Primark. And here's a better look at those decorations while I have taken the plastic off and I'll also show you them one by one. First of all we have a lovely Santa Mickey. Next one I'm popping on is just your classic polka dot Mickey. Next one we have is Mickey Mouse's hand which I'm actually surprised at it being black but I do quite like it because it will contrast against my white tree. Now this one I absolutely love, it is black and glittery and this lovely wee red bow on it. Next we have your classic Mickey and he's also very sparkly. Last one from this collection is just your wee red one and it's sort of as if it's frosted on the bottom but it's got a really long string so I'm not sure if I'll actually pop this one on because it's huge. I might just pop it around the top and then have it hanging down that way. So I've just realised that I've started putting on some baubles but I actually forgot about putting my wee lights on so I'm going to try and put these on without taking the baubles off. The lights I put on this tree are just battery pack ones instead of getting big massive ones. I've decided I'm going to pop these bell lights on the bottom first 
just because they're a wee bit bigger and then have the smaller balls at the top. So I'm not sure how well you'll see but these are actually lit up at the moment and it's just a sort of white light inside the cute wee bells but they do have wee star details on it. I think my camera actually cut out as I was putting the last of those lights on but I think it did not bad considering I had to fight some of the bobbles but I'm feeling it looks a lot more Christmassy now. Now the rest of the bobbles aren't actually themed, well not, <laughs> wait till you see this one. So another thing that I love is The Hobbit and my favourite from The Hobbit is Thorin and I have this cute little Thorin so I'm going to pop him on as well. My next decoration, I got this one from Shop Disney last year and as you can see it is the claw machine from the first Toy Story and Buzz Lightyear is stuck in there and he's about to get clawed out and now I absolutely love this one, the details of all the aliens, how Buzz looks in it, it's brilliant and it is a wee bit heavy for that tree, last year I managed to sort of balance it so I'm going to try and do it again. As you saw there, I had to really battle with that. So, like I said, I don't recommend putting one that big on a tree. But the next one I bought came from Shop Disney this year and it's actually a bit bigger. <laughs> so I just realised the whole time that I was fighting getting the crane on, I had actually left it sitting out. So some of you might have spotted it already. But it is this amazing Buzz Lightyear in his original packaging. And now what makes this one special is there's a wee button on the bottom and when you press it It's a secret mission in a charted space, let's go! The slingshot maneuver is all we've got, full speed ahead Scanning perimeter Laser at full power Prepare for hypersleep Shields to maximum Buzz Lightyear at your service No infinity and beyond Oh my god! This is the best thing I have ever bought and now it is really heavy this one. So I think I'm going to stick him at the bottom so I actually just sticks, just sort of sits on the table. So that kind of looks okay. I mean, I think I'm actually putting too much on this already, but you can never have too much Christmas. Now, the next decoration is going to be quite hard to show you, but this came from a lovely wee Etsy shop called Starlight by Ali, and if you've seen on my Instagram doing the Halloween mystery box, this is the same person, and this is my all-time favourite Christmas movie but I can't watch it until Christmas Eve because it gets me way too excited. But this is the lovely train ticket they get on the Polar Express and it's so sparkly and then if you've seen it you'll understand what this bell is. So I, as soon as I saw this I knew that I needed this decoration for my tree. So next, I'm just going to pop some of these wee bobbles on and they're just sort of fillers. So the first thing I'm going to use from it is these wee snowflakes. And as you can see, it's just like a wee 3D sparkly snowflake. Now another thing I got in my Christmas mystery box was these two candy canes. And I was going to put them on the tree, but instead I'm just going to sort of place them in front of the tree. I think I actually like just the one being on it. The final part of the tree is obviously your topper. And I just have these wee fairies. Now she's not actually anything special, but I do think of her as the little fairy godmother for the top of my tree. 
Now the next thing I have is these wee baubles that I'm not actually going to pop in the tree. I'm just going to set them down next to the tree. And these, I just got them in pound land, so a pound each, I thought that was quite good. First thing I'm going to do though is cut off the wee top bits so that they are not sitting hanging there. Now, these do flash as well, but I probably wouldn't have them flashing much because they go crazy. But I'm just going to have these sitting... either side of my Christmas tree. Next thing I do is I got this garland also from Poundland and this was meant for my shelf but as you can see my shelf isn't there at the moment so I'm just going to open these, put them together and then put them around the table. So I'm going to sort of spread it around the tree and then cut off any of the excess string that's there. And there we have it, so it's sort of a bit weird and random this tree but <laughs> I kind of like it. So the last thing that I want to set up is these two Mickeys. So this one was last year's, it was 2019's Christmas Mickey and he's got this cute little outfit on and there's like candy canes, there's snowflake Mickeys on it, some baubles, some mistletoe, I just think he's absolutely adorable and then of course he's got a cute wee Santa hat on and then here we have this year's Mickey and he's got a cute little knitty jumper on and it's got got the little mini and mickey gingerbread and I just remember that last year at Disneyland Paris I got that ginger mickey and mini I mean gingerbread mickey and mini so I might try and find a way to get them in I'll go get them so here they are so these guys are absolutely adorable I knew as soon as I was going to Disneyland Paris for Christmas this was the one thing that I knew that I had to get and also I just happened to have them in my bag when I went and met Mickey Mouse and he was obsessed with this little mini one so I'm gonna see if there's somewhere that I can pop these guys as well as the Mickeys I don't know if that would be too much but I'm just gonna try it anyway so I actually think that's kind of rather cute because they're sort of like peeking out behind the tree and now I need to try and fit my big Mickeys next to them And there you have it guys, I have officially decorated my Christmas tree so I'm going to give you a wee closer look at some of the decorations while they're on the tree. Just come in the visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time And now to see how it looks without the light. Those wee lights in the Poundland are going crazy. Well guys, there you have it. I have decorated my Christmas tree, popped on all my cute wee lights, put out my cute Disney store Mickey's and 
I am definitely 100% in the Christmas mood now. Let me know if you guys have any similar decorations, what Disney store one shoes have, or even if you put your tree up just yet. And I hope you all have fun if you're going to put your tree up. And Merry Christmas to you all. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye!